It's a good night. I have something very exciting to share with you. I'm back on the Alaska Peninsula three years after Joe and I were here filming Bears of the Last Frontier for PBS. And the star of our show is right here. I just found her tonight. So this is Nadie, the female that had the tiny young cubs in our show, who ended up coming very close to us, and we spent weeks and weeks among them. And uh, I'd recognize her from a mile away, and she's in incredibly good shape. She's on her own. So three years ago, she had her tiny cubs, spring cubs, two of them. Sadly, she lost one of them, but one of them was raised to maturity. She kicked him out last year, which is a normal thing, two and a half years old. Kicked him out so that she could come back into Estrus, mate with a male, and um, then have cubs the following year. But a strange thing ha happened. After she kicked him out and then mated, her cub came back and she sort of accepted him back for a short while before then going off alone. So they kind of hung out a little bit during the summer. I didn't see any of that because I wasn't here last summer, but I heard from a friend about it. Now this year she's on her own, totally on her own. She's come out of the den. She's headed down into this, this meadow to graze, to graze right here. I'll show you right here. Here she is. Look at what good shape she's in. She's come down to this meadow to graze. And uh, it's so interesting seeing her as a, as a single bear now. No longer the mum that we, that we hung out with and got to know for all those weeks during filming. But uh, just off in the background, if I pan around a little bit, you'll see that she has a love interest. This is a bear that we've been calling Blotchy. So I'm here now filming with the BBC for a show called Great Bear Stakeout. And we're really getting to know these bears as individuals. And it's so interesting to think about our bear Nadi and what she's been through for this last three years of life including raising two cubs and one of them very successfully and now she's come out fat and primed and ready to become a mum again so she's probably already mated with at least one male this year oops sorry it's going blurred there for some reason my camera has had a lot of sea spray in it recently so it's not very happy so she's probably mated with at least one uh, one male this year so this time next year, if we were to come back and see Nadia again, she would again have tiny little spring cubs or cubs of the year with her. Really amazing to see her doing so well. And sure enough, up to her old tricks, coming in quite close and being completely unconcerned about people and me. And I don't flatter myself to think she can remember me, but I do wonder what they can remember from the smells that they've experienced in the past. And I'm pretty ripe right now after being out here camping for a month. There's Nadia, our old friend.